Recently, I made a video talking about my Mica MB42 bookshelf speakers, which I've had for over a year now and I really enjoy. But after I made that video, a lot of you guys recommended the Mica MB42 X speakers, which are slightly better. But then I started thinking, you know, I've had these speakers for a while now, maybe it's time for an upgrade. So today, we're gonna talk about the Klipsch RP150M bookshelf speakers. Hey friends, welcome to Vinylize. I'm Jarrett New, and today we're gonna look at my brand new upgraded bookshelf speakers, the Klipsch RP150Ms. Now, it's very important that you guys know that I was not sent these speakers for a review. I actually bought them myself personally. <laughs> because that's how confident I was in their quality. And they also had overwhelmingly positive reviews online. Now, if you've been watching my channel, you'll already know that a while back, I did a review of the brand new Klipsch R15 PM powered monitor speakers, and I really love those because their sound was incredible. So I knew I wanted to stick with that brand, Klipsch, because I think they make quality stuff. Now, the main reason I didn't go with the R15 PMs is because they are active speakers, which means that they have an amplifier built inside them. Now, being that I already have a receiver slash amplifier, I don't need another one. So basically all I needed were passive speakers, which do not have a built-in amplifier. I really just needed a pair of basic yet solid speakers. So with all that said, let's open this thing up and see what we got. All right, now here's what the front of the speakers look like. And as you can see, they are gorgeous. And of course, as with all of Klipsch's modern lineup of speakers, the first thing that really stands out are those incredible copper domes. And like I've said before, the copper and black look has definitely become a trademark of the Klipsch audio company. Now, basically the front of these speakers looks very similar to the R15 PM speakers that I reviewed. However, the main difference is that these speakers come with grills that have small magnets inside them. That way you can easily snap them on in between listening sessions for when you want to protect them or when you want to keep them free of dust. Now at the very top of the speaker, we have what Klipsch is calling the Track Tricks horn. And basically this is a circular horn that sits inside of a rubber housing. And they claim that this rubber housing helps reduce harshness and overall improves detail in the sound, but we'll get back to the sound a little later in this review. Now below the horn is the five inch copper woofer, which like we already mentioned, looks fantastic. And overall it seems strong yet flexible. Now if we flip the speakers around, we see that on the back it has the rear vent and below that it has two little posts, one black and one red. The black is for negative and the red is for positive. Now, as a side note, I made a mistake on my other review video where I accidentally said that the black is for left and the red is for right. So I wanted to correct that in this video. The fact of the matter is that black is for negative and red is for positive. All right, now getting back to the speakers, the last thing I'll say about their design is that they are definitely built very well. They have a good hefty weight to them and just like the R15 PMs, they also feel very solid. So basically these speakers are built like a tank. They're going to be very durable and that way you can keep the music playing for many years to come. Now speaking of music, the biggest question of all is of course, how do they sound? Well there are lots of different adjectives I could use to describe these speakers in this video, but the main word that comes to mind is the word natural. These speakers produce a sound that is very natural. It's not too bass heavy, but on the other hand, it's not too crazy on the treble either. And being that these are reference speakers, they're very similar to the R15 PMs because they simply get out of the way and allow you to hear the music exactly as it was meant to be heard. Basically, they play everything back very clear and natural, and they don't color the sound at all, which is definitely a good thing. Also, there's not a single hint of distortion to be found. Now, as far as my music choices were concerned when testing these speakers, as usual, I played my favorite tracks, everything from The Cure, Disintegration, Black Sabbath, Kings of Convenience, Jose Gonzalez, Grover Washington Jr., Dead Can Dance, Agnes Obel, and a ton of other music. And that music was on vinyl and also digital sources. I played everything and these speakers delivered quality with every track. And of course, no speaker test can 
wouldn't be complete without one of my favorite reference albums, which is Sade Lovers Rock. And that album is fantastic. It's as smooth and sweet as caramel to my ears. I love it. And just like everything else I tested, it also sounded very good. Now, as I've explained in other videos, unfortunately, I can't play any of this amazing music for you guys because the YouTube police would smack me down. But if you're interested in any of the bands I just mentioned, I would highly recommend you watch their music videos right here on YouTube because they are awesome. Now, final thoughts on these speakers. I really enjoy them. They're built solid, so they're gonna last me a long time. Their sound is excellent and fills this room really nicely. And overall, they're a big upgrade from my original Mica MB42 bookshelf speakers. So, if you guys are looking into getting a great pair of passive bookshelf speakers, then I'd highly recommend the Klipsch RP150Ms. So if you wanna check them out for yourself, the link is in the description below. And of course, if you like this video, join the vinyl revolution and hit subscribe because I'm to be coming out with a lot of great videos every week that you're not going to want to miss. Be sure to find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and more. All my social media links are down below. And most importantly, guys, have a great day and keep spinning that vinyl. Oh, and you're probably going to see these in the background from like now on.